What's up, YouTube? It's your boy RJ, and I'm back with another video. Now, we are reacting to Hulk versus Hulk who would win in a fight. Now, this is uh, by Gubs. I've never heard of him before, so I, you know, this is the first time I'm watching one of his videos. But he's taking the 03 Hulk versus uh, 2012 Hulk Avenger. I, I guess he's taking the, you know, 2012 Hulk and beyond and 03 Hulk. So, basically, who went in the fight? Easy. This is easy. 2012 Hope would win in a fight. It's no question. He's he has way more uh, feats basically than uh, 03. 03 Hulk went against freaking dogs, bro. He went against freaking dogs and beat up dogs and like <laughs> that was it basically, man. Like he threw a tank. Oh, the 2012 Hulk stopped the freaking you know alien spaceship. Freaking went you know was in uh you know basically he 2012 Hulk has way more feats and everything than. 03 Hulk, he, he, I would say 03 Hulk is more aggressive, the Hulk that I like, more aggressive, I mean, I'm not saying I like 03 Hulk, but I like when Hulk is intimidating and aggressive, like, 2012 Hulk is not intimidating, yet. intimidating at all, not at all, like, 08, 08 Hulk and 03 Hulk, but, in these two fights, you know, 2012 Hulk is easily winning, so we just gonna get to the video and see what he got for us, so let's get to it. Three, two, one. I've heard a lot of people say Hulk 2003 versus the Incredible Hulk from the Avengers, but I think I should wait until Thor Ragnarok comes out before I start that video. Gubs, can you do Hulk versus Hulk, please? Hey, Gubs, you should Hulk do 2003 Hulk versus, versus 2017. Come on, Gubs, Daddy. Do the 2003 Hulk versus 2008 Hulk versus 2012. How thick is thick silver? <laughs> wow. Yeah, 2012 Hulk is not, uh, Avengers Hulk is The Incredible Hulk body is most notably Hulk. known as the physically strongest Avenger out there. And in the past 40 yeah, he's body years, we've had about Hulk, three live-action adaptations no of question. the Green Puffle. Now, 08 Hulk? I don't know. Eric I don't know, man. 08 Hulk is pretty aggressive. Now, be wondering why I said three adaptations, even though I only he had to cheat to names. beat Abomination, though. That's because <laughs> Edward Norton's Hulk and Mark Ruffalo's Hulk are technically the same person. The 2008 Incredible yeah, Hulk movie the same took person. place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's referenced to quite a bit in the 2012 Avengers. I like 08 Hulk. I like 08 Hulk. I mean, the movie is not that great, but I like 08 Hulk. So. Thanks, but the last time I was in New York, I kind of broke Harlem. Yeah, I like 08 Hulk. See, 08 Hulk was savage, bruh. He was Meaning savage as heck, man. Same character. I mean, they don't even look you that know. different. And look at them. If you squint one eye and squint the other eye, there you go. They're you like know, 20 just, right now. Plus, the old. It's just Avengers Hulk. He's just you don't get that intimidating feel from him. So, so all of their abilities are being know. combined into one Hulk. For today, we're going to be comparing the green CGI Brock Lesnar to the Marvel Studios leaf-colored gorilla. A heads up, as always, <laughs> Brock this video is not meant to argue who was <laughs> the better right. actor or which was the better film, yeah. but rather which incarnation would murder which Hulk in a fight. The Avengers Hulk yeah, would win, man. That side of YouTube. This isn't Screw Attack, pal. I don't get paid to do animations. <laughs> for every Marvel movie ever, including Thor yeah, Ragnarok. Yeah, 03 Hulk would, uh, to measure each lose. Hulk's pros and cons, He's losing. We're going to break down each of their strengths, speed, intellect, endurance, and abilities. First category is up, so let's actually do something for once. Strength. Avengers Hulk the is stronger, thing people man. usually think of when thinking about the Hulk is super strength. And when looking at these two core mascots from afar, it looks like there is a huge difference in terms of strength. Yeah, he is bigger, I mean, Look though. at this meathead. He towers over this eggplant like Dwayne Johnson does to Kevin Hart. Yeah, he was big, But in big, terms of man. strength, size doesn't always mean everything. So don't. And no, that's not what she said, because if it is, then my video would be demonetized. <laughs> Let's just overanalyze everything the way your nerdy self likes it. We're just going to skim the 2003 movie to everyone's favorite part. This Hulk is most notoriously known for tearing apart and tossing away an M1 Abrams tank like an expired That ain't nothing compared to the Avengers Hulk. <laughs> to many. I mean, don't get me wrong, tearing off the top half of the tank like that takes a real beefcake, requiring 15 tons of force, but the audience was much more wowed of how far this dude chucked that thing. There are people out there that exaggerate this feat, detailing that he threw it into the sun or that he tossed it across several miles. No, come on, we can't bro. Trust he just threw it really statements. Trusting those kinds of plagiarists is like jumping in the deep end of the pool when you don't even know how to swim. Gratefully, I did see he did a Spider-Man versus Spider-Man. I will be reacting to that. Out the whole physics side of things I think it was like Toby's Spider-Man versus Garfield. calculated the distance of how far he threw the artillery. So thanks Jason Liu, Anthony Ho, and Simon Chen. Shoutouts to you for actually doing this. 
This Hulk actually has three different settings for strength and size in the 2003 movie. His weakest really? form at 9 feet, his medium form at 12 feet, and his Super Saiyan form at 15 feet. Really? With this being twice the size of Shaquale Onale, it's safe to say that this was done in his 15 foot stage. In other words, his strongest state. The mathletes concluded that Banner... He did sort of get bigger though. Meters away. But with that in that scene in the house, he got bigger. That would have taken 131 and a half tons of force. That trumps everything the Hulk has done in the 2008 movie, including the lifting of the Humvee and the tickle punches he threw at the Abomination. So yeah, I'd have to say... He had to cheat to be the Abomination strength, too, man. If the Avengers didn't come out half a decade ago, Hulk was able to stop this little fella dead in its tracks in the battle... Yeah, to me, that just trumps sure everything he... Fast, 03 about 22 did, miles man. per hour. But that thing weighs thousands of tons. Yeah, that just trumps the it, biggest man. mammal on That's... the planet, the blue whale, alongside this just... moth, that would make this beautiful thing that only a mother could love 1,200 tons. But that isn't even taking into account that slim, thick armor. It's not those skinny human 1 16th thick steel armor. No, 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 no. This is straight I up wish he would have did sort of a school attack stuff. thing. I wish he Since did that. Since those plates get smaller as you go cool. down the animal, then that'd make the thing at least 12,000 tons. Mm. Meaning this Hulk would have had to dish out nearly 2,000 tons of force with one punch to stop, to stop this worm thing. It was about to fall seconds. over, but he's... That completely obliterates the abilities yeah. from the one from a decade yeah. and a half ago. <laughs> Some people will mention that the tank throw wasn't Banner's best strength showcase, as he threw a 100 ton boulder across a body. Ah, come on, that ain't still, nothing, bro. Even that is only a tenth of what the come Hulk on, did bro, that wasn't that one inch punch. You're probably still in doubt and might think I'm pulling BS out of the place where the sun don't shine. Nah, you're not but pulling okay, BS. That let's go your way. Let's see what the movie makers had to say. On the IMDb trivia page for the 2003 Hulk movie, there's a tidbit stating that the visual effects artists themselves said that Banner's Hulk was capable of exerting 14 tons of force per square inch. This is unsighted, so I'm not sure if this yeah, is Yeah, yeah, you can't take that into account. Go about what you see in a movie. a <laughs> guy who saw this woman mouth the words he can. Well, let's just roll with it to please your insecure neediness. The way they phrase everything else suggests that this is the yeah, strongest man, that whole gang got you can exert. Here, Hulk. let me I'm read sorry. it to you how it's basically written. I'm sorry the for people who, uh... Skin is ten times as strong as Kevlar. Bench is so much... Yeah, I'm sorry for people who like that movie. Even though know, that movie was trash, I was like a little kid when that came out. And I liked it, but now looking at it, it's trash. It would be an 87. Right. And Come he on, can man. exert 14 tons of pressure per square inch. I'm assuming this is a typo, and it's meant to say force, not pressure, because pressure is already measured in square inches. This unit of measure is different from the one we used in measuring Hulk's punch against the Leviathan. Yeah, that's just that's so just obliterating the three Hulk, bro. I mean, we can, but that's just a lot of conversions. But what we can do is compare it to something that wasn't really in the movies, but sort of was. In the TV show Agents of Shield season two, episode 15. We see a room with vibranium walls that was originally built to contain the Hulk by Bruce Banner himself. But we see a turkey-sized fist dent on the wall, suggesting that Hulk went ham on that thing. Agents of Shield. I've is never watched movie, Agents of Shield it before, so. The Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm, I'm, the same world this you know. Resides. It's I did watch the Ghost Rider scenes on YouTube. Is. <laughs> vibranium is like your loyalty to the hey, channel. Man, it does you know. What we're basically only given is that it's stronger than steel, but only a third of its weight. So for the bare minimum of Ruffalo's Hulk's power. Let's use real-world steel. The ultimate tensile strength of steel is about 420 megapascals. Man, if he would have did, if he, if he would have did sort of a screw attack thing, that would have been cool, man. Square inch, more than twice the value of Eric Banner. I think he should think about doing. Whether that. you take the things shown in the movies or the unsighted quotes from the filmmakers, Norton Ruffalo. Yeah, come on, man. That, that's just common here. sense, bro. Sure, you might be saying that the 2003 Hulk actually grows taller as he gets angrier, but that goes more under the. He did though. Section, not the strength. You know what? You know, Let's the, be a the Avengers Hulk don't do that. He don't get stronger when he get angry. Screw transitions. I mean, they ain't showing him yet, so. Like I said earlier, this is going to veer in a little more different direction from the first category. We're talking less about strength and more about the abilities Hulk gets as he gets Dang, angrier. Dang, he's huge, man. The Ruffalo and Norton Hulk did indeed get stronger as he got angrier. I mean, yeah, true, but that was when he was back in controlled. And almost finessing your boy Iron Man when he was whamming him. And that, and he, Iron Man, I disagree with that scene so much. Iron Man shouldn't be able to take him out like that, bloodshot red. Some might say he was angrier for a long time in Ragnarok. But nah, he wasn't. About how long he was mad for. <laughs> we're talking about how utterly pissed off he was. Nah, time like isn't considered. He hasn't Let's really did that angry. See, fool See he had to be controlled. Don't to do want to that. mess with him. He didn't seem to gain other abilities aside from strength. Yeah. But the 2003 Hulk grew in height as well as power, mm -hmm. meaning that he gained more mass as well. Mm -hmm. He did have his limits. He didn't seem to get any bigger than 15 feet. When he was screaming underwater, telling his dad off in some unknown dialect, he was overloading his dad with energy, <laughs> implying dialogue. that this was indeed his 110% peak. So he can't really grow beyond that of 15 feet. 
And as I said earlier, yeah. his top strength to me, I like Avengers Hulk, but I feel like he needs to be more aggressive. Could give him that edge on something. Like he needs Maybe to take like 08 Hulk's aggressiveness. He also gets a visible healing you know. factor, one that immediately helps him recover within seconds from flesh wounds. True. But stronger beings like Gamma Dogs might pose a problem to him that outreaches beyond his healing factor. Yeah, but come, he shouldn't have got body by Gamma Dogs. In this category, that that sounded got body by dogs. <laughs> Speed. We're back to going in order of everything. Mm. Sorry, not I can't, sorry. See, I Coupling can't. super speed with super strength. This is when I have to recall movies, and I can't powers. recall like that. I know. Gonna be straight up with you. O3 Hulk, Hulk, Hulk was Hulk running real fast in that. Uh, I mean, look at this yeah, boy. I remember that. What in tarnation is he on? He was able to punch things up to 300 miles per hour on barefoot, but his most impressive ability is his. Did Avengers Hulk have any scenes that he was running jump, though? Spending only eight I seconds off the ground, meaning he clocks in at over 450 miles per hour. Dude would kill it in my track squad, but all I can do is dream. The other troll was able to move across great distances too. He went from here with Zanero to Guatemala within 10 hours. Sorry if I butchered that name. That's a distance of 6,682 Did he kilometers. have any running scenes? I can't remember like that. About 415 miles per hour. I know he had a lot of jumping scenes. That is still slightly scenes, less than that of Eric Banner's Hulk. The greener looking ogre wins the point here. Inte intellect? Yeah, I think uh, intellect now. Avengers Hulk got that down Bruce bad Banner is most well known for his nerdiness and awkwardness. But what about the Hulk? Well, the MCU Hulk actually grew to use things around his environment. Yeah, I think he's smart. Like the he's car smarter. he uses as two hoagies against that thing that looks like the Berserker from Gears of War. That was really tight, man. Them police cars. <laughs> anorexic meathead. And the thunderclap he used to save his crush who makes his Yeah, that was rise. tight, man. The other one, on the other hand, spits a rocket out like a mommy bird and screeches underwater. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Doing that with a rocket did show some sign of thinking. But it wasn't such an intelligent Yeah, he ain't that do, smart. <laughs> explosives like this Avengers Hulk him. takes the smartness. One on could that. bring up the point that this Hulk could at least say tiny sentences. But Thor Ragnarok has come out now, and Ruffalo's Hulk legit carried on full conversations with Thor, with vocab far beyond that of any live-action Hulk before him. He also knew to aim for the weak spot during the Hulkbuster fight, and fought well with equipment during the Gladiator matches in Ragnarok. True. The 2003 Hulk came off more as a giant baby, yep. using the top half of a tank like you would when you rage with your controller in Overwatch, <laughs> and punching water like what was he trying to do? Yeah, that, yeah, the Avengers Hulk got does it. indeed he, act Avengers like a giant toddler too, but like. well, that's when he's just having normal convos. When it's time to brawl, I was so mad when they freaking cut that scene that when Thor was bodying him and they this just freaking doesn't use objects that often. He's made not Thor go down with that little. I mean, sure, he does utilize a tree branch like a Lincoln log against the Gamma Dogs. But he doesn't ever think of chucking one of those things like 420 meters away like he did with the tank. True. He doesn't seem to think very well under that much physical pressure. So I'd probably have to give this one to the orangutan looking one. Endurance. Okay, this one is... Endurance, as well as durability, is the amount of damage one can take before succumbing uh, to the pain. Man. An open Endurance, uh... that separates you from the light. This is probably the hardest section to Yeah, judge. it is, man. Reading That's what I was thinking. For a draw, so I'm bound to pull something out of my ass. The Hulk in the MCU withstood combos to the face by Mjolnir and survived multiple destructive punches yeah. from the Hulkbuster armor. He did. Of which Rhett Allen, that was funny, an associate though. professor <laughs> in physics and author of the science blog Dot Physics, man, it, it, concludes that those jabs could exert about 20,000 newtons of force. I would go, I would go, but I would go with like the Hulk. Chuck. Though, Banners did fall from the top of Earth's atmosphere all the way to the ocean. And at that point, it's gonna feel like Cron Creek. But this one too gets boosted from a high drop zone by an exploding jet to the actual cement. Mm -hmm. And again in Age of Ultron, when the multi- Yeah, I will go to Avengers Hulk. Okay, it's coming back to the yeah, yeah, Avengers Hulk. Ten story it, building with steel beams. And both of them only looked utterly pissed off afterwards. Like the kind of pissed off you get. He was more powerful when he was being mind control. And it doesn't go in, so you flip it, and it still doesn't go in, only to realize you had it upright the first I know, time. right, bro? I swear to God, that happened. As he actually got knocked out. Damn. But that doesn't really seem like a valid argument as he was calmed down by the crying bloody people you could clearly see when he first came out of the rubble he was ready to go for round two mm -hmm. but he withdrew from that rage as he saw all the destruction and havoc he caused saying that this hulk should lose the point here because of that is like saying that the 2003 hulk should lose in the endurance section because the power of spontaneous erections got him on his knees that's unfair <laughs> and irrational another thing to love this to dude is, is a that clown man. hulk endured the power of a nuclear bomb and made it out alive but according to the official novelization of the movie this just isn't true the text suggests that well before the nuke hit, Bruce Banner was already in his human state, not his Hulk form. Mm. How his skin wasn't burning from the newly nuked exactly, yeah, water is beyond me. But it's heavily implied that the water separating him from the explosion shielded Banner from the blast. Again, in case you are hard of hearing, that was Bruce Banner, not the Hulk. This Hulk did not get hit by a nuclear bomb. 
He was in his human form when it hit. Yeah, and that... the water he was underneath most likely shielded him from the blast. So either way you look at this, it still wouldn't count as an endurance. Yeah, that, that's, that's kind of... The myth kinda, also support yeah. this idea <laughs> that water can protect you from some explosions. In their episode, Dive to Survive. But anyways, now let's get back to what we know for sure they've endured. Banis Hulk was able to take quite a beating from three six-foot gamma-infused dogs. Whereas Norton Ruffalo's actually got pounded by the Abomination, sure did, the guy man. who had a dose of Captain America's Super Soldier Serum with the addition of the already jacked up steroids mm -hmm. the Hulk was infused with. Comparing these two very different scenarios, yeah, yeah Abomination got yeah, that hurts more. But in a fight between these two, I think the one that actually had taken hits from super buffed up beings like himself gets the victory. Yeah. Listen, those bites look ferocious. Like, if I were in that situation, I would have accepted my fate as soon as that doge Yeah, but I mean... I, but the durability between these guys are, like, on two different levels. I think Avengers Hulk got more fight durability. The Hulk is fighting a superhuman is when he fights his mama's baby daddy. Yeah, and that, wouldn't even, that was such a trash fight. Who attempts to boot upon his son into the second dimension. All he ever did was drain him of his powers. So, really... This monstrous looking thing has never felt what a real punch I know, he ain't never felt it. Yeah, he ain't never he went against nobody, dog, man. But so can this one. Yeah, a giant in Ragnarok, one. <laughs> the green dude took on a 20-foot wolf. That's an enemy of the That gods. wolf looks so cool. Sure, it has no gamma in its blood. Wolf is my favorite animal, so material, that wolf looks cool. Fenris had super strength for his size. Meaning if there ever were wolves the same size as him, he'd be able to bench press them as they were bench pressing bench presses. On top of that, Hulk ate a full-powered Super Saiyan God Punch from the <laughs> yeah, <he> Thor <laughs> in Ragnarok. And it resulted in a catastrophic Man, they did mirror. Wave. They they there aren't they made Odin Force look so bad though at the end of that movie. But remember, Hulk's 2000 having him use it on freaking henchmen instead of hell like that. That was kind of so. However powerful Thor was at that moment, it's safe to say that it was well above 2,000 tons of force. Yeah, because he hit him with that hammer, he went flying. From it. <laughs> That's more force than the other Hulk has ever exerted. Additionally, Banna's Hulk gets literally cut here by an explosion that didn't even touch him. But in 2008, this one damn near ate the fire. Plus, if you only got dog bites on you, while the other guy got nailed by, by a dog, dog <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. By literally another Hulk who's on even more steroids than himself, mm -hmm. and was swatted by a 1,000 foot fire demon. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, but I have to say yeah. the one walking out of godly confrontations deserves the check mark here. Yeah. Here is the scoreboard and end results. Eric Banner's Hulk is clearly yeah, much I, Avengers Hulk is strong, man. He'll beat but him in a fight. He's very experienced when it comes down to fighting other big sized opponents. While the 2003 Hulk can chuck things pretty far and is a pretty swell healing factor, he doesn't seem like he's ever done a lot of actual punching. <laughs> he did chuck that dude out the house, though. Like a really, <laughs> that was hilarious. His lack of experience is what gives the other Hulk the, the edge in this matchup. Ruffalo's Hulk proves that he has punches with much more force, mm -hmm. unique fighting styles that incorporate environmental objects pretty well, and the durability to go toe to toe with another Hulk sized creature. Yep. I'm not understating the fact that the old Hulk took heavy bites from monster dogs. But the reality is that the MCU Hulk stood against gods yeah. and fire demons from Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's, and I haven't even touched know. on fighting speed yet. The Ang Lee Hulk does indeed run faster, but what those hands do though? The other one can move his hands at a much faster rate if need be. To create a sonic boom like Norton Ruffalo's did in 08, that was cool. they have to move their fists that was cool, than the man. speed of sound. That was pretty cool. With that much force and speed, it's clear who the winner should be. His healing factor could I wonder how much, fight, uh, how much money so well it takes to make him. Legit, the Hulk he was like ready that. to pass out like he was on a Man City Each Sleep movie. World match. I wonder this that. one's tough, but it's only a matter of time before the 2,000 ton punches start taking a toll on the big one. There's a reason why one Hulk was shown capable of beating another Hulk, and the other one wasn't. The winner is the Marvel Cinematic Universe Incredible Hulk. Yeah, that Hulk, that, man, I wish, I wish he was savage. I wish he was more savage like Hulk, man. Let me know down that's the only thing below. I'm missing out of and Avengers and Hulk, is that savageness. If you like this I need video, that, then be sure to hit that like know, and subscribe button. Savage. Also, but. consider following me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And for more of my videos, Hey man. Right here. Hey, he kind of he 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 uh, you know he uh, he broke it down pretty good, man. He broke it down pretty good. Uh, you know I'm a, um like I said, man. Avengers Hulk is. I already knew Avengers Hulk was gonna be stronger. You feel me? Just because he's an MCU, and at this point, the people who he's going up against and with the things he's done, it, it trumps O3 Hulk. I'm sorry, it just does. You feel me? You know, and I like I said, I'm gonna be at, he has a, a Spider Man versus Spider Man one, so I'm gonna be reacting to that one. You feel me? But he he pretty broke he broke it down pretty well. You feel me? So leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new. It's your boy RJ, and I'm out.